So I'm so excited to introduce our next speakers. It is a group of middle schoolers from Portsmouth Middle School. Give them it up. Hi everyone, my name is Van Safley and I'm 13 years old and my word is Riz. So the boomer or older definition of Riz, well there really isn't one, but you can kind of just think of it as charisma. So if you have lots of Riz, you have lots of charisma. And the cooler or Gen Z definition of Riz is that you have, you're good at getting girls or you have good pickup lines that make them want to date you. <laughs> An example of this would be do you know which way heaven is? I figure you know since you're an angel. Oh my gosh, you have so much riz. Please go out with me. Hello, I'm Jacob Tehan, and I'm 14 years old. The word I'm presenting is fire. Now, if you've ever been camping, you should know what fire is. Um, <laughs> It's orange, makes a lot of smoke, and is hot. Um, but the Gen Z definition of fire is when something's cool, really cool, when something's awesome. For example, I might say, wow, this presentation is fire. Hello, my name is Leo Stern. I'm 14 years old, and my word is sweat. Now, sweat, the boomer definition of sweat is if you've ever done an activity or been outside in a hot summer day, you usually sweat. But the Gen Z definition of sweat is if you're doing an activity or playing a game with someone and they're just absolutely destroying you, you would say, bro, you're such a sweat. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Brandon Ghanif. I'm 14 years old, and my word is selling. So, the definition of selling you're familiar with is the exchange of goods for selling. <laughs> but the new Gen Z definition of selling is either making a huge mistake or ruining something. For example, I can't believe you lost in that video game. You're selling so much right now. Hi, I'm Ryan Irvin, I'm 13 years old, and my word is sus. So, <laughs> sus is short for suspicious, and all you boomers know suspicious as like, ooh, I found a suspicious clue, but <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're Gen Z, and we are much cooler than you, so we would say <laughs> sus. <laughs> um, for example, um, he was pretty sus in that um, presentation before me. <laughs> My name is Lincoln Silverman, I am 13 years old, and my word is flex. The boomer definition of flex is for a limb to bend or become bent. The Gen Z, or cooler definition, is um, to brag about something or say that you're way better than someone at it. For example, hey Griffin, look at this brand new, awesome, just got it yesterday, bag of apricots. It's limited edition. We know, Justin, stop flexing your limited edition bag of apricots. <laughs> Hello, my name is Tyler Carroll. I'm 14 years old, and the word that I'm presenting is drip. The boomer definition of drip is a small drop of liquid, or maybe water, but the Gen Z, or cooler definition of drip, is used to describe someone who has style, mainly referring to their clothing. For example, I could say to my friend, oh my gosh, I love your new shoes, you have so much drip. Hi everybody, I'm Charlie Rudig, I'm 14, and I'm here to lecture you all on the new and old definition of the word bet. 
So all you boomers out there probably know this word as to risk money for a game, usually a sports game or a card game, sometimes even a horse race. But the new, uh, the new generation knows this word as an affirmation, to say okay, sure to something. For instance, one person might say, hey man, do you want to go do a quadruple backflip tail grab off that one million foot cliff over there? <laughs> okay, bet, I'll do it. Let's give it up for them. I mean, there are certain parts of this that made me feel really old. Um, but as a millennial, haha, uh, yeah. not that old. Where's the Gen X millennials? It's just Gen <laughs> Z and boomers, and everybody else is forgotten. So, um, a, a serious question. Um, as a millennial, I'm a little bit cooler than a boomer, right? not my area of expertise, but I think so. Oh, that's great. Um, I do know his parents, and so that is why that response was like that. <laughs> now, a, a couple qu quick questions. Do any of you guys know millennial terms? New find finagle terms? Like, what would I call, um, what you guys call a drip? Um, you'd call that swagger. That's right. Oh, I'd call swag. it swag. Swag. All right, and what's uh, for show? <laughs> like, we we'll want to go, what was it, do a triple backflip off a, a <laughs> tail grab rail? Like, yeah. For show. For show. So this is a great example of an yeah. elder millennial yeah. and a younger <laughs> millennial. All right, hold on. One last one. I'm really hoping that this, is, this has been left in the ash bin of history. Uh, nobody is saying cool beans anymore, right? Cool beans is my favorite word. <laughs> Woo! All right. Cool beans lives on. Thank you, guys.